Welcome to Specific Love. This is the 19th edition of 10 Life Hacks for PVC. Let's begin. You ever had those moments you're trying to reach back in your cabinets and oh, and just knock stuff out because it's just a little too full? Well, if you're by the name of Doc the Biker, I had a great idea. If you measure the inside width of your cabinet, get you a piece of half inch PVC, carefully push everything back, slide the PVC in there, you now have a really nice cabinet bump stop. So that way if you reach it in the back, it's less likely for your stuff to fall out. I've had a number of viewers ask me to use some PVC to create a way to dry shoes easily. Well, if by chance you have one of these air vents for your AC and your heating unit in your house, you can take some PVC, use some elbows, really any configuration you'd like. You can then take your shoes and put them over the PVC, and that way it'll allow air to flow up inside and over the outside of the shoes. These are great, for example, my son likes to play soccer, and so when he gets done on the wet day, he can then come in, put his shoes over this, and that way it'll allow it to dry out his shoes very quickly. If you've ever had to transport anything on the top of your car, you know there's always that chance it's going to either scratch your paint or just somehow mess up the roof, especially if it's heavy. Got a great idea for you. If you take a pool noodle and a piece of half inch PVC, and you can slide the half inch PVC inside the pool noodle, Take you some string, run it through the PVC, and then you can take it and get a couple of these and you can stretch it across the top of your vehicle. And always you can adjust it, of course, to the width of your vehicle so it can be just right. Take your string and you can tie it off somewhere inside your vehicle. And this will allow you, because the PVC and the pool noodle is a little bit flexible, you can then take it and it'll more conform to the top of your roof, less likely to put dents in your roof. Also, this way, it, once you have it all tied off, it's less likely for anything to slide around. Therefore, you should not have to worry about scratching your paint. That's a great way to transport something heavy. A viewer by the name of Cody Atkins created this awesome travel trash can for camping. It's about 20 inches tall and about 10 by 10 wide. It fits a 13 gallon trash bag and if by chance it is overfilled, you can just pull the pipes apart and remove the bag. It's also great for disassembly for transport. It uses four corner connectors, four 90 degree elbows, and one four way. A viewer by the name of Nick's Nana does a lot of work with artificial flowers and silk flowers and things along those lines. And she found a great way using some three inch PVC to help store these. The flowers fit nicely in there and you can store a bunch of them at a time until you need them to use them. To do this, we've taken a couple pieces of three inch PVC pipe and I've glued them together here, or in this case, you could take maybe three pipes and you can just take a strap and strap them together. Now, if you put two or more together, it makes it a lot more secure and stable and easier to stick stuff in. So that's just a great way, if you have a bunch of silk flowers or plants, to store them away for you. By chance, do you have a large tank at your house? Maybe your fish tank or a pool or a hot tub at some point, you're going to need to drain that, whether it's just to refresh your water or you're just trying to drain it for the winter time. Here's a great idea that a number of viewers have given me, is to use some PVC. Now you want your drain side to be a little bit longer than the suction side on your tank. One of my viewers by the name of Terry Duggerty gave me a great idea to get this started. He actually takes his shop vac and hooks it up to this side of your pipe and gives it just a few seconds to start the flow of the water. Once the water has started flowing, he just takes the shot back away and the weight of gravity will do the work and drain the tank. That's a great idea to drain your tank, pool, or hot tub. I was driving around town the other day and I saw this great idea. This is actually goes onto the back of a Jeep. On the wheel, their spare tire, you attach this to the back of their tire and this will allow you to carry whether a flag or a banner on the back of your vehicle. Now, I've got two different designs here. One I drilled a hole and then put a carabiner through there and you can attach your, your flag or your banner that way. Or you can take some zip ties and zip tie them to it. Now with the zip ties it is a lot more flexible on size of the flag. You can easily slide these up and down. But there is always that chance that these could come loose. Now with the drilled spots 
These are permanent and can always drill another hole if you'd like, but you can't move them up and down, so you're pretty much stuck to the size of the flag or banner that you're using. But that's a great way if you want to display a flag or banner on the back of your Jeep. A viewer by the name of Roger Solomon had a great idea using PVC with his HVAC system. He lives in South Florida and he says that the drain valves here that allows the water to be pushed out of the HVAC system will sometimes get clogged with these little frogs that want to climb up in there for fresh water. Well, he used a piece of PVC, he drilled a bunch of holes in it, put an end cap on it, and he found a way to attach it to the hose. And by doing that, all these little holes will prevent any of the frogs from trying to get inside, but it'll still allow plenty of flow for the water to exit. And that way, it'll help prevent any backup inside the house. A viewer by the name of Rob Scholl had a great idea for a pool coordinator. Now this I'm using here is just four inch sewage and drain pipe. Now this is much thinner and much cheaper than your scheduled 40, so definitely go with this. Same thing with the end caps. Now, you want this, this is about six inches long. You can adjust this to whatever length you need. Put your one end cap on, and you'll want to glue this side on here. And then once everything is dried, you need to do some maybe some styrofoam or do some of that spray expanding foam down in there. You don't want to go more than about halfway. And then you take another end cap, and you want to drill a bunch of holes. And you can do it in any configuration you want. I just had a nice little star design. That was a little cool idea. And then you can take this, get you your, your uh, chlorine tablets and you can set them inside. And since this has foam in one side, it's going to float in the water. Now on the other end to attach this, you can do a number of things. You can put yourself a clamp, you can always drill yourself a couple more holes and to get you a zip tie and feed it through and that way it's easy to snip it off next time you need it. You could always put some tape around here. Tape probably won't look as good, but it could work also. And that way, you just made yourself a real easy pool coordinator. A viewer by the name of Tony, also calls himself Videohead, created this awesome phone holder for his bike. He used six four ways, two elbows, two three ways, two three inch adjustable metal band clamps, and four small six to eight inch bungee cords. He also used about a foot and a half of pipe. He screwed everything together. And he loved it so much he made one for his wife. He later looked back at it and realized in place of the outside four ways, he could have used three ways to make it a little bit more aerodynamic, but it still works. Great thing about this, you can paint this the color of your bike or any other color you want. The price to get everything was around $10, depending on the store you want to shop at. And this is a great way you can go out and have your phone right there in your handlebars. If you like this video, make sure you click the like button and tell us what you think about it in the comments. Also, we put out a video almost every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Have fun building.